Hey guys, so today I am doing a get ready with me video on a look that is very like simple, glam, effortless, not trying too hard, but you've tried a little bit. Like you've used false lashes, you've done a little contouring and used some highlight, um, you've done your brows, but you don't look like, bam, I'm wearing lashes and my eyebrows are painted on. And I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I like looks like this that look soft where you just look super glamorous and like, not that I look super glamorous, but you know what I mean? You look done, but you wouldn't feel uncomfortable like, okay, I look like I'm wearing war paint right now. This is one of my most dramatic pairs of lashes that I have, um, but I did it in a way that is so, so natural without the typical like black liner and all that kind of stuff that you usually see when you do la lashes or like that I've done in the past when you do lashes. Um, and a happy accident that I made. That's why I love Get Ready With My Videos because we sort of like make mistakes together. We discover like new things. Do you think, oh, I might do it this way. Oh, I might do it that way. Or you leave something out and you're like, oh. But it's such a happy accident that made the biggest difference and was like perfect for the theme of this video. And it's a good tip with false lashes. So um, we'll get into it. Um, and let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, so starting with my uh, Clinique. BB and look it looks nuts right away but I just patted it with my fingertips and I usually just do this in my bathroom right after um like right after I wash my face it's sort of like a skincare step and I just dab it in I do have a video about this and I think I demoed it in that video too but it's really thin so you want to make sure you get it off the sides of your fingers. It's just to me the best way to apply it is with your fingertips. Everything else just kind of soaks it up and doesn't really give the same effect. So you can see it covers really well. It's not completely in yet, but I just tap it in like that until it's um until it's good. So yeah, I just wanted to like turn the camera on as I got ready today, show you kind of what I've been doing lately. My brows look so weird right now. Had to go rinse my hands, because usually I'm doing this in my bathroom. That's what this looks like. Do I need concealer? I'll use just a little. Um, I have this, the Studio Finish by MAC. And I'll just kind of use it where I need it. So yeah, sorry, I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, I want to kind of talk to you while I do this. Sometimes it's hard for me just to talk while I'm doing this, because I'm trying to like explain what I'm doing. But... I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, I always like to use my Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the Light Plus, and the best brush is the F25 for using this because it doesn't really like it's so fluffy that it doesn't like knock off any of your concealer or you know, it's just so soft. So I just barely use that around. I don't get it up under my eyes because I haven't used my under eye concealer yet. I like to use that last. I've always done that. I just if I were to do this after that, I wouldn't want the powder to cling and like. I think like one time that happened and it looked a little dark like where the powder cleaned and I was like no never again and then I just always did it this this way but I don't know if you could tell but I do feel like I have some dark circles today so I'm gonna use my pixie um, my under eye peach corrector sometimes I'll use the tip of my beauty blender like that a dry beauty blender um, so I'm gonna use it for foundation I use it dampened but when I use it for under my eyes a lot of times I just pick it up with a um, See, it really works well with a dry one. These are just so soft. So I just make sure that's like really in and it's not like um, sticky. And then I use my MAC. You can leave it like that actually, but I always like to use my Radiant Rose and just sort of right at that line. And I kind of go down a little. Um, and then you can even take the same Beauty Blender and kind of just dab it, it's just easy. And um, I don't use heavy powder at all, ever anyway, so even if it gets a little bit, it's not gonna do anything, it's not gonna matter. I think when people are like, obviously I wouldn't put like a cream product over like, like I just don't even feel like I've used powder on my face, it still feels very like, um, not sticky, but <laughs> like you can still feel that the foundation's there, like I don't just, whatever, so this is what works best for me. I like to use my NYX palette and my Chanel number, actually no, I'm going to use my F35 brush, didn't think about that. I just mix these two light colors, I don't go way up under my eyes, I just go in the area where I applied the pink or the brightener, you can kind of see it's just easy. 
a little down the center of my nose, a little right there on my forehead, a little right there. And then I take the number two Chanel brush and use that. Um, you can really use any of the darker colors that suit your skin tone. But um, I got a lot on there to kind of even it out. I put it sort of in the area where I'd contour and then I just kind of blend all around. Sort of almost like that stays the darkest, but then you get, you know, just the way that I always uh, kind of contour and bronze at the same time. And put a little up your temple and your forehead. It kind of warms everything up and balances everything out. And I'm very pale right now, so I know I look really like like look like I know I'm I look probably really bright, but a lot of people are like you need to adjust your lighting. I'm like no, dude, I am just white. Like I dimmed it, and I'm still like white. And I like to take a little and kind of put it on my neck. So I, I want to make it a point to do these more often because I do like doing tutorials. It's not that I'm not doing it anymore. It's just that um, I just like to add other fun things and um, really do a lot of other type of videos too that I like. So I just kind of mix it all up. If I did all tutorials, that would be really boring um, for me and probably for those of you that like the other stuff too. So um, uh, next I am going to film my mail day haul which like it is piled up on this desk next to me which brings me so what is that um it's a little bump right there i still need to film um a like tour of this room or i've kind of been doing some different things in here you'll notice i put this in here this is in our closet i did something different in the closet like i mentioned um I'm just blending the heck out of this. But yeah, I hope that y'all like that video. I've never done that before. I always get um, packages from companies that I, you know, like companies that I like. And you'll see it's not going to be a bunch of weird stuff you've never heard of. Which I think that's fun too. Like the makeup eraser. I would have never known about that. Like I had that a long time ago. Um, and was like, what is this, you know? But you, it's just things that intrigue me. Things that I like. So I feel like it's not as just... I don't know how to describe it, but the things are good things. They're good things. So I've never done anything like that before, and I just want to like truly do a video where I'm like just showing you guys things that I've gotten recently in the P.O. box um, rather than just have things sit and may not get talked about if they're good. Um, I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun. I just thought it'd be fun and just... It's going to be pretty long, but I'm going to try. Like, I I think that's what's kind of scared me from doing it, is I'm like, am I going to be able to talk about all this stuff and keep it, like, at a reasonable length? And for me, reasonable, I mean, I do pretty long videos anyways. So I'm kind of nervous, but I think we'll get through it. So I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. And for me, I like to define the top of my brows. I just think that's what, in the direction that they grow and everything, that's what works best for me. Um, because the bottom's pretty smooth. I don't ever put anything down there. Um, so see, that just makes such a big difference. Oh my gosh. And um, this is the shade Taupe, which I believe is the lightest shade that they have. So, you know, and I have pretty dark brows, but um, like when I use it, it just is sort of creating this little shadow around and behind my brows. It's not matching the hairs, but from a distance, it really looks like it does. It just blends everything together. If I would actually use a pencil, I have a little scar right there. If I would actually use a pencil that matched my brows, um, they would look so drawn on and way too dark. So always go a little lighter than you think. I have some new brow products, those brow pens that I have been kind of really digging. This is just like my go-to, so I thought, for this video, my every, you know, whatever, I'm just gonna do this. Like, I could do this and just go anywhere and not feel too overdone. Which I think is the problem a lot of times with false lashes. You think you have to put, like, tons of, ma or tons of, um, you have to pair them with tons of eye makeup. The little gap right there. We'll put some under this one. Or, um, or a ton of eyeliner to, like, blend the track of them, or... And, and you don't have to. I mean, that can be kind of the focus in your 
crazy false lashes can actually look kind of wispy and soft and you know against not so much makeup okay so those look pretty good okay we'll just leave it at that and um, for my I'm gonna go ahead and use some lip stuff my lips will dry this is the Dior uh, lip maximizer I wouldn't say this is like a plumper by any means it has that bit of a tingle kind of like the buxom glosses which I think is why I like this it just it's clear but it just it's pretty clear like it's it's a pretty gloss but um I'd say it's more smoothing it says it has like active collagen I don't know it's not plumping it's smoothing which I like I don't always do this I'm just gonna get fancy but um sometimes I'll skip eyelid primer this is the NARS um, smudge proof that I really like and I don't know something about this one I just really love so much more than any other primer alright so I'm gonna use this palette it is the MAC it's actually the MAC Cinderella palette but they don't sell these anymore but don't worry because all the colors that I'm gonna use are colors that are available um, so and I don't like to get super crazy. I just, um, this is Vapor and Floof. And so I just take Vapor. I just put it on my lid. It's just like a brightening, pretty color. It's sort of a pinky toned, like, ivory. And just with a fluffy brush, I just do that little number. And I kind of, you don't have to be super careful with it. I just kind of go along the inner part. And you can see this is a huge brush. And that even works. And, um... Then we have Omega and Quarry, and I just kind of, it's funny how I kind of use things together, but um, I guess I'm just going to kind of, going to kind of use them together and um, put it right in the crease. And these colors in this palette, like, I love this palette so much because it's so basic, but the colors are just so perfect together. They're just so great. So, um... Yeah, this is just like the easiest eye look ever without looking like you're wearing a ton of eyeshadow. It's just pretty. So, um, that creates like a pretty shadow. And then, then I'm going to take I need a smaller brush. And this is a, a, an E25. I can't talk. I can't. This is Satin Taupe. And I just put that in the corner. And do I like that? Maybe I should have left the lid with nothing, but this is okay. So yeah, I just kind of, I'm just going to kind of blend that inward a little. Yeah, I do like that. Okay. Good thing, because I'm not taking it off. It's so fun just to go back to these, like, old favorite matte colors. And take that same color and just smudge it under sometimes that's like the easiest thing to do just take some brown eyeshadow because I don't use like liner under my eye ever um, I've never done I've never been into that I just take a little brush and um, you can just smudge it under there and then wipe it with your finger like that and it really like yeah just simple 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 and then this um, floof color is really kind of a frosted color I just take a little and I just kind of put it right in the center. It doesn't really make that big of a difference. But I like to think it does. It does a little, it does a little bit of something, right? And what I like to do is I take the Demolition 24-7 pencil, which I need another one of. Mine is getting down to a little nubbin. And I'm just not careful and I make like a... Just kind of a sloppy line probably like this the whole time and then I um I just smudge it out with that same little thing and that's the thing like I want this to look like it's kind of coming out from around the base of the lashes like I don't want it to look like when you usually do false lashes or when I've done it in the past or when you usually see people using them they use like a really harsh line of black um, liquid liner for me I don't want to do that but I still need some kind of liner to disguise the track a little bit and then I take uh, this is my Kat Von D tattoo liner in Mad Max Brown and I'm not gonna overlap that all the way I'm just gonna get right at my lashes where you might see a little bit of white in between the lashes 
almost put the liner on its side and it gets super, super close. And then you can keep this out and if there's any like little gaps in the lashes or if it looks funny, you can kind of wiggle that little and right in and get it but and then we're gonna do the lashes and this is a new pack I usually either use these or the wispies that are the glamour wispies but these are the ones that are very similar to the to the wispies but they're just longer um these I, I really like these are so long and kind of crazy but I thought whatever before you use lashes just kind of hold them up and if you see that the inner part goes in too far, which it really, I mean, for me, my eyes are pretty big, so that would honestly be okay, but I don't want to see that little, you know what, I don't even think I need to trim these. Sometimes I do, and when I do trim them, I trim them from the outside. A lot of people trim from the inside, like from the shorter ones, but I always trim from the outside because they're going to stay the same length. If you trim the ones from the inside, then you'll take away that short one that helps blend them in in the middle. It'll just look like you have this like harsh edge. So always trim from the outside. Don't trim from the inside. It's just easy. I mean, there's really nothing to it. You literally just paint the glue on the band. It's so much easier than messing with the kind that's like in a little squirty. I always get more on that little inner blob. And then I let it get a little sticky because if you don't then they'll just kind of slide everywhere and then they'll kind of lift and you want them to really grab. I'm really glad by the way that you guys have been liking um, some of these like handbag videos that I'm doing. And I know I didn't do a vlog last week and this week I have not filmed much either so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do this week because I really haven't filmed anything. Um, I don't want to like make myself film, you know what I mean? Like if it's natural and I film something then I will. Um, but sometimes I just don't film stuff, so that looks pretty good. I think it works. Okay, so this is cool because they look really wispy. I totally did not apply mascara. Oh my god, that's okay. That's okay. I just got so wrapped up. Usually I would apply mascara to my lashes first, but yeah, I didn't, but we can do that. No big deal. I like these. I really like these. They're long and they're like crazy, but they don't look like so in your face like fake when you apply them correctly and they're like really close to your base of your lashes. Just like I say sometimes like you don't even have to get like tweezers and try to like really be precise about putting them on. Like just take, t just use your hands, you know, and just kind of squeeze them together and I think they look even more natural, honestly, without... That was a good mistake. These that are this nuts look so much better than right now than the days when I've applied my mascara to my regular lashes first. Because you can my regular lashes are like huge with mascara, so you can always see them, and then you see these, and you can tell it's two totally different things going on. Um, even if you apply mascara to both of them, but I don't really like doing that. I like not applying mascara after the fact because I like to be able to wear these again. So, um, wow, that looks so good. If I was using some that were a little more natural, then I would definitely always use mascara first. That really, honestly, looks more real. Totally. They're long and yeah, they like are so much longer than it would take me to normally do my makeup because I'm talking, but it's fun because we discover things together. But back to what I was saying, I'm really glad that you guys enjoy those videos. I know not everyone likes certain brands of like handbags and not everyone likes that kind of stuff, but those like unboxing type videos are so fun. And I personally like watching anything like that no matter what it is, um, even if I'm not particularly like into the brand of it. But I was shocked. Like I have gotten so many great comments and you guys have really enjoyed it. So, um, that is exciting to me, and plus I like to do it just because it's fun for me to do, but um, but I'm so glad that y'all like it. So um, hopefully you're kind of like seeing what I'm doing here. Like, it's very like glamorous things that I'm doing, but I'm doing them in a soft way to where it looks like you can just wear this to the grocery store, you can wear this shopping, you don't look like a complete nut that's like trying way too hard. That's what it is, okay? It's like doing false lashes and doing contouring and highlight and 
if I do something like pretty normal to my lips, I have to put a little more on the end. Um, but like I'm doing things and it doesn't look like you're trying too hard. And I am so excited now about this. How stupid is that? Like, oh, I just didn't use mascara. It made such a difference, but made such a difference. Oh my gosh. I was like about to take them off and use mascara because that's like a cardinal rule. Like you have to use mascara before you. See, you just gotta do what works. And so I kind of put them down and just like squeeze them together. You're not gonna mess anything up. I was always, always afraid of doing that because I guess I thought I was gonna mess up my, my actual like eye makeup. But you can't. Okay. So easy, right? That looks so much more natural. But what I will do is I'll take some mascara and put them on the uh, lower lashes so that it's not like bam and then nothing. Because <laughs> that kind of can really make it look fake. So holy crap, I'm so excited about this happy little accident. And don't think that works for me just because I have like fairly long lashes and, and I, you may think, oh, you don't need mascara on them. You can't even see my regular ones. My lashes, like when, like before and after mascara is so dramatic because they're um, blonde, like the tips of them are very blonde. So they look very short and then it's just like, bam. So you can't even really even see them. That's like exactly this look too. Cause that's like what it's about is looking soft, but like, ah, um, so make sure there's no clumps because these upper ones have no clumps, obviously, so use no mascara. I'm going to use a little bit of brow gel. Still got to do my, um, what you call it, my blush and stuff. And yeah, I don't think I mentioned this earlier. Or I got to this part of the story. It's hard when I'm like talking about something and I'm doing this because then I end up saying, oh, and then by the way, I'm using this. I'm using Plum Gorgeous by Clinique. I feel like this room, like I've never done, like I've said so many times, like a full tour of it. And it's still not completely ready, but I think I just need to just do it and say here it is. <laughs> but I've had so much fun with this room lately. Um, I feel like when I got everything ready in here, when I sort of did a mini peek at this room, when I got the new table and when I moved all the closet stuff out and you know, when we redid our other closet and I moved everything in there, I just kind of did a really brief, like, hey, here's these things. And I never showed, like, the wall when it was done. I've got, like, a really nice, like, I had my Prada sign up there. But I definitely like, like, it staring me in the face every time I came in. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I love this. Looks like I was just probably doing nothing, but so pretty. I love that blush. But I've got, like, a big, like, memo board and... Just all kinds of fun stuff. This huge desk that like covers this whole wall that I can put products on, do photography and stuff, which I don't even do because my blog is like in the pooper. I need to, not in the pooper, but like I just don't do it. Any, like I don't make it a point to do it. And it's not that it's like dead and I'm not doing it anymore. I will. I just have been, I'm into videos and I do that. And if I have time, I'll do my blog. But with a baby and everything, I don't have time to do that. So I'm, I'm doing good to do what I do on here. Um, I've got the closet, like I've got shelves in there and I've got products and everything. And, um, and then even that back there like serves a purpose. And look how cute I made it. But I've really been enjoying this lately. And then I put some cool stuff in here. This is uh, Dervish by back. Love using lip liner after I've used a product like this or a lip balm because it just sort of like glides on. It's not like you're drawing it on. It doesn't look so harsh. It just kind of like blends in with the gloss. And a lot of times, like I'll just put on more of whatever that first, okay, don't talk while you're doing lip liner. Ugh, have I not learned my lesson? That side is still messed up, but <laughs> sometimes I'll just put more of this on and call it a day, which I think is what I'm gonna do. And it just blends in with the lip liner. And it's pretty. And it's just no big deal because that's what we're going for. So that's the look. I hope that you <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see more of these type of get ready with me videos, let me know. I like to just do these and just kind of show you what I've been doing lately. And um, it's just so easy and so much fun because I like to just be real and turn on the camera and just talk. Um, not that tutorials aren't real because they are. But it's just, that's just my style. Like I just feel 
it's just so much more fun to do it this way and it's easier and I just I love it so um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'm going to film that video next um, the like what's it called uh, the meal day video so let me know if you like these types of videos if you want to see other ones um, things that may be a little more dramatic or something I might do but I really like doing just useful things things that I've been doing and loving and I hope that y'all enjoy it so so much I will talk to you all very soon bye